Me, 42M, with my wife 42F, she cheated on me with her harmful ex-husband. This isn't a throwaway because I don't give a duck. This will be probably long and I don't expect people to read all of it. Incoming wall of text. Yesterday, I found out that my wife had slept with her ex-husband several months ago. During the eight years we have been together, she always told me how much she hated him. When we first got together, she told me all kinds of horrible things he did to her. Some examples are, house must be spotless, if not, it means you don't love me or our kids. Can't be on the phone after 6 p.m. with her friends because it's his time she wasn't allowed to go to college because if she wasn't home taking care of the house and our child, it means she doesn't love them. One time, she decided to get a pixie cut, he had his children tell her that she looks like a boy. They chanted mommy looks like a boy. Mommy looks like a boy. List goes on and on. The majority of our relationship, they usually spoke on the phone concerning their children, which usually ended with them screaming and cussing at each other. This past June or July, I can't exactly remember, their oldest daughter was getting ready to start college. He lives 5 miles from us so it would make it easier for both to see their children at any time they wished. They decided to carpool to save gas and show unity to their child. They bought her furniture and so forth for her new apartment. They went together every pretty much every Saturday, sometimes Sundays too to visit their daughter. Shortly after this began, I noticed their phone calls became a lot more civil. Then I started getting a bad feeling. One morning, I decided to ask her if she was having feelings for her ex-husband. She looked down to the floor and started crying and said she didn't know. Deep down inside I knew something happened. I asked her if something happened between them, she said no. I lost my poop and broke our coffee carafe, spelling. I wasn't proud of that moment, I scared her very much. She thought I might hurt her, hurting her wasn't even in my mind. I never broke anything before, never hit walls or threatened her in any way. They have been married for 16 years and have three children together. Two oldest have graduated high school. Since then, things between us fell apart. Several months go by, I was not invited to her family's Christmas party. This past week, we decided to separate since things didn't seem to improve. We figured that the time apart would help clear our heads and approach things different. I moved to the other side of town with an excellent deal on a house. This Tuesday, I was talking to a good female friend that happens to be someone I highly respect. She's the wife of my boss. I walked past her and she stopped me to ask what was wrong. She said she could tell something wasn't right with me for quite a while. I gave her details on what happened and at the end of the conversation, she gripped my shit and said that she was sorry but she needed to tell me that she really thinks my wife cheated on me with her ex. I didn't believe it, that night I kept thinking about it over and over. Yesterday, I spoke to my wife and told her that I think I am being a fool and that I really felt that something happened between her and her husband. It took a few hours, but she finally admitted that they had romance. She said what she did was selfish and she was afraid to tell me because I would leave. She believed that he changed and her feelings for him came flooding back when he apologized for doing all the bad things to her. She said she really wanted us to work out, but her guilt kept her to be fully honest and open with me. I didn't call her names, I didn't even shout. I kept my cool, I was actually surprised in how calm I was. I told her that we are done. She tried to call me, but I told her I didn't want to see or hear her voice. So since then, it's been all through text. She said she wanted to die and can't believe she destroyed a good thing. Last night, I burned my favorite picture of her. It was actually her idea. I took a picture of the burning picture and sent it to her. She asked if it made me feel better. It didn't. That was my ducking favorite picture. I didn't eat all yesterday, still haven't. I couldn't sleep, every time I close my eyes, I see graphical images of the two of them together. She said that if I can forgive her, she would never speak to her ex-husband again. I'm conflicted. I want to spit on her, yet I want to pull her close, hold her tight and never let go. I wasn't perfect in our relationship. I do have issues sharing my feelings. She's told me that several times. How do I get over my dream girl? We've been together for 8 years, married 5 and have a child together. TL, doctor, 
Wife cheated on me with her harmful ex-husband. Slash how do I move on or fix it? Hi guys, I promise to love you if you like, comment, and subscribe. One thing that bothers me is she says if you take her back she will never talk to her ex-husband again they have three children together. There's no way that's even remotely feasible. She did something insanely poopy and unforgivable and now she's lying and making unfulfillable promises to get you back. She didn't just cheat on you, she carried a full-blown affair, this is something I could not get over. Just found out that she had the affair at his home while I was away at work. My, 31F, husbands, 30M, old college fling, 32F, moved into our neighborhood recently. I really need some outside opinions and thoughts right now. I feel like I'm not crazy, but there could be a chance I am in this situation. My husband and I have been together for 6 years in total, but we have been married for over 2 years now. We have a very happy, yet simple life that I really appreciate living with him. Both of us have our day jobs, our hobbies, our friends, and we always enjoy traveling to a new place, once or twice, every year. We have talked about children in the past, but at this point, I'm not sure if we are actually going to go through with having kids. Either way, I'm happy, so I have no expectations on that front. At the end of September, someone new moved in a couple houses down on our block. Funny enough, it was my husband's old college fling slash FWB that he was with before we started dating exclusively. I know a lot about this woman from the early days of us dating, but I couldn't believe that she actually was moving into our neighborhood. It was pretty clear that someone was moving in at the time, so me and my husband went over to introduce ourselves, which is how we found out. I have always felt a little insecure knowing that she lives only a couple houses down. Why? Well, not only did they have a thing for almost two years. But, my husband said at the time that he had feelings for her and he wanted a relationship. As time went on, he got disinterested in just hooking up with her. And that is when him and I ended meeting. So, for me, it worked out well. Not so much for her, and I could definitely tell that it bothered her the few meetings I had with her. This past weekend, our neighbors next door had us and few other people over for drinks and appetizers. Funny enough, they actually invited over Judy, fake name for the story. The evening went well, but what bothered me the most was seeing Judy pretty much hang around my husband all night. She was always laughing at what he was saying, she was rubbing his back and touching him, and she even threw out some pretty exaggerated romantic jokes and comments about my husband. This bothered me all evening. When my husband and I got home, I talked to him about what I saw, but he thought I was making a bigger deal out of a situation that had no leeway. For some reason, there is something I just don't trust about this situation, Judy living on our street. Saturday night was a perfect example of my suspicions. I can totally tell that Judy wants to have a second chance with my husband, even though she had her chance for almost two years of hooking up with my husband in college. The touching, the flirting, and the romantic remarks from her just bothered me. To be frank, they still bother me. How can I go about this situation? I really want to tell Judy completely off. My interactions with her have been minuscule conversations, where when my husband has ran into her, she chats him up like there is no tomorrow. Is there something fishy going on between them? It doesn't seem like my husband is up to something? I just don't trust Judy. TL, doctor, at the end of September, my husband's old college fling slash FWB moved into our neighborhood. I don't get a good feeling from her at all, and Saturday night was living proof of her intentions. How should I approach this situation? Your husband needs to get on board and shut this down. I was ready to come in here telling you that it was probably nothing, and to invest more energy into your relationship. But the fact that he let her stroke his back and act intimate toward him without politely requesting she stop, is not okay. Furthermore, that he told you that you were overreacting is not okay. The problem isn't Judy. She is secondary. The problem is that your husband isn't putting up proper boundaries, and isn't listening to your concerns. Talk to him again. Tell him you're not comfortable with his lack of response, and that you want to be a team on this. Isn't it weird that the spouse who is being flirted with slash touched inappropriately never seems to think there's anything wrong with it? See it all the time on this sub, but you know if the shoe was on the other foot they'd flip out. 
it's possible they like the attention they get from other people, must be a boost to their ego, so of course they deny anything was going on. That, or they're just really oblivious.